I wanted to do some more testing before I want to share my idea. That's why it took me that long to create this part 3. At the time I designed Gen 8, I have already thought about how I can use two copper sheet to make this boat. The front part of the boat can be covered with a 4x8 sheet. I will add another piece of corpus here and allow 3 inches overlapping area. The reason I use 3 inches is because I believe it's strong enough and also a thin overlapped joint is easier to handle and the outcome of the fusion will be much better. I have done some experiment related to how much force is required to pull two fused sheet apart and I estimate it requires about 3,360 pounds. I have videos related to how I did my experiment and you may go into my channel to find out more if you are interested. After I fuse the red and blue sheet together, furthermore I will add another slice of corpus across the joint area and this piece will further create a watertight seal between the joint of the red and blue sheet. I would suggest using a 4 inches corpus sheet to cover up the overlapped joint and this piece will further enhance the strength of the jointed area. On the side here, this blue piece, I would suggest flip it this way and then using fusion method to fuse it to the sidewall and provide a better finished gunnel. Again, you can do the same at the back here. As for the bow, I will use fusion to fuse the front together instead of using glue. Same with the stern piece. This is the crawfish sheet and I will fuse the size of this piece directly onto the stern of the boat. The area that I have to be careful is right at this corner where water may be able to leak in. I may apply another crawfish sheet and try to patch up these two points and you may want to add silicone caulking to further prevent water from getting into the boat. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you find this video useful. See you again.